brought to you by BoardGameAtlas.com, the fastest growing board game community in the world. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Gaia Project in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. The game has a solo mode, it is a game for 1-4 to four players. Playing time is long, and it's pretty damn complex. Across the galaxy, many different species vie for interstellar control. But this is not a war, it is a race. A race to terraform worlds to your liking, to unlock advanced technological powers, and to form mighty federations of worlds. The winner is the player with the most points after 6 turns. You gain points by completing objectives, advancing tech trees, forming federations, and much more. Variable player powers. Each faction has different home worlds and different powers. Network building. Building sets of connected planets is key to winning. Player turn. Each round, a different action will grant you extra victory points as shown here. First of all, grab one of the round boosters. This is a special bonus you will get to use on your turn. Then get your income. This is determined by all empty spaces on your player board. There are three core resources, money, ore, and research. Ore and money are used for buildings, ore is used for terraforming, and research for technology. There is also power, which sits in three different bowls. When you get a power boost, you must first move power from area one to two, and only when that's full can you move from areas two to three. You can also burn a power to move another power from bowl two to three. Power in area three can be spent to area one to do a variety of power actions, like claiming to or here. The tech trees are important and determine a lot of your strengths in order how much it costs to terraform a planet, how far away you can terraform, how many QICs you get, which are special power-ups, how easily you can turn worlds into Gaia worlds, and income and research ability. You can move up one step on a tech track by spending for research. If you build a research building, you can also claim one tech upgrade and advance your marker up the matching track. If you pick one of the bottom three upgrades, you can advance on any track. You can only claim the top space or the advanced tech tile if you have a federation token to flip, and more on those later. Actions on the board include turning a transdim world into a Gaia world. This costs a lot of power and needs a Gaia former, but the power can come from any bowl. This power comes back to you next turn. You can build a mine on a world within range, paying its cost to terraform and the mine's cost. The cost to terraform is determined by your tech and the type of world, which is different for each faction. We can use the booster we picked up to extend our range and spend a QIC and the mine cost to build on a Gaia world. QICs can also extend your range, and we can upgrade a building, paying its new cost. When someone builds within two spaces of one of your buildings, you can spend victory points to boost power as well. Once you have enough planets under your control, you can spend power to form a federation. This grants you one of these federation tokens. Finally, return your used round booster and select another one. Why would you like this game? Gaia Project is a heavy game with a colossal decision space and so many options on what you can do each game. Balancing expansion versus income generation and upgrade managing your power expenditure, and figuring out what techs to go after are all massive decisions that will hurt your brain each and every time you play. There are seven different player colors and starting worlds, each with two factions with different strengths and weaknesses. This is a game for people who love engine building and long-term planning and decision making. The best thing about this game is sitting down to play and thinking, where the hell do I start? However, there's a lot going on in Gaia Project, and I mean a lot. This is not a game you can just casually pick up and play easily. It definitely rewards repeated plays and system mastery. A quick jolly party time game, it is not. Prefer fantasy? Try the precursor game, Terra Mystica. And for a more realistic setting, consider Space Corp. Gaia Project is a three minute board games gold medal game. If you enjoyed this video, support us on Patreon, listen to the podcast, and check out our website.